Hello. Today I'm going to show you how uh, you can make your power button on the FT50 um, and the other ones that have the same kind of button. I believe that's the FT10R, the FT40R, and uh, the VXA100, I think. It's the, the aviation pilot model or something like that. So um, this one's an older one. I have two others that don't have the same problem. Um, but first thing you're gonna do is, if you still have the rubber seals, you're gonna pull them, pull them off and just open them. And uh, this one's missing this one on the side, but you wanna open it so that you're not trying to pull it against the, uh, the rubber seal. Then take off the, um, the volume knob. This one seems to have been chewed up. This pull off the squelch or yeah. Sorry, this is the monthly volume. This is the uh, encoder. All right. Um, there's no uh, nuts on there to take off. Um, so next, underneath this, there. Uh, this is a sticker, and so you're gonna need to take that sticker off to get inside. Um, I had used some sticky tape, double-sided sticky tape, which I'll need to remove. The uh, original sticky came off because this is an older model. Uh, on this one, the repair is already done, so I'll undo the repair and then just show you again. So, taking those sticky things off, there are two screws. There's one here and one here. These are the only screws you need to take off to get inside the case. So, first thing you're gonna do is, um, you're gonna take these out about halfway. Don't take them out completely yet. Um, you're gonna need to push on them, just like that. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna, it's gonna release the keyboard a little bit. So now that that's undone, you're gonna take the screws completely out. You just need to crack it open um, because there, there's, unless you wanna take the screws off and then shove something else in there to probably to get the keyboard open, this is the, the best way I found. So take that off. safe somewhere and uh, there's a there's a seal and there's a keyboard so just let's off to the side um, so now that you have that taken off and you've made sure you don't have the rubber grommets there or the, the rubber um, covers um, there's no nut here there's no nut there you're just gonna push from the side out and it's gonna go like that and kind of you know, kind of lever it out and gently pull this out. So as you can see right here, the um, that conductive rubber is worn out, and uh, so that that needs to be replaced. Um, you probably will not find new buttons of these. Uh, I tried contacting Yesu USA's part departments and uh, they don't have any. Um, this is such a common problem, they like ran out or something. So um, this already has a fix in place. There's uh, this little replacement button. Uh, so I'm just gonna take this one off. It's just stuck on there. That's just a little rubber 
membrane with a, a carbonized rubber piece right there. So, what you would do if, if you came to this fresh, um, take a Q-tip. I've got this uh, alcohol container, and uh, while you can on here, you can clean uh, clean this part. And that'll kind of get rid of it. You don't necessarily need to do this part, but if you just don't want to get this black stuff on there, then um, you can clean it off. Um, then uh, with the new Q-tip, put a little bit of alcohol, and you're just gonna clean the area here. Just kind of make sure there's nothing on there, none of the, the other residue from the uh, From the, the, the button breaking down. So now it's drying. Um, here are some replacement rubber contacts and uh, I thought these are for marketed as re for repairing a TV remote um, but uh, they just have a little rubber piece and that's all you need. So um, there's two sides and uh, there's a non-sticky side and this is the side you want to go up. Um, so it's not sticky on there. And then underneath there's a peel away stick. So just separate a piece for yourself. And um, you're gonna peel away the uh, double-sided tape. Just place it right in the center of there. And just kind of mark it down. So now you're going to put it together again. Put the radio back together. And uh, the way you do that is you just make sure this uh, big O ring seal is, uh, is is seated properly on the edges. Then you're gonna take this part, kind of just shove it out up, out there. It gets in the way. You'll probably just have to push back it inside. Um, then you're gonna slide it back in, making sure that you're not pinching the seal anywhere. There you go. And uh, then just push this back in. Yep. Um, <clears throat> so next, you're gonna take the keyboard, keypad, and you are going to put the seal back. Now there's there's a there's kind of a more right angle edge, and there's a longer um, rounded edge. You want to make sure the the rounded edge goes to the top, and the square edge down here. Can be kind of fiddly. Push this back in and uh, put your screws back in. I like to back up a little bit first just to make sure it seats in the original threads and the plastic. sticky tape um, but to save time on this video I'm gonna put this back on that's the right way for the, the volume knob now the 
the lector knob, the uh, in encoder. All right. And uh, I'm going to turn on my power supply and use the external DC jack, which is down here. And that works. There you go.